Yeah. Wow. Wow. Burning it right here. Everything yes. burns. <laughs>
it brought some spark that came from soccer into me and it's been my favorite sport forever and the moment that got me um, into club football was the Drogba header against Bayern in the 2012 Champions League final. I was also um, five or six at that time, but it was an incredible moment. And that 2012 jersey, I, I have it right here. The golden Chelsea kit back then. And it was just a spectacular moment. And after that, um, that's basically the moment that got me into Chelsea, which is my favorite club. And Hazard, Eden Hazard is my idol, my my most favorite player I've ever seen. And my go, obviously Messi and Ronaldo are some people's goats, but my go is Eden Hazard. And back then it was Jose who was getting, who was um, taking Chelsea to a new level. And he, he just made the club go skyrocket, sky high. And yeah, that's basically everything you need to know about me, Chelsea, and the USMNT. All right, that's nice. Uh, I'm going to Jeff now. Um, yeah, so my backstory um, for the love of um, soccer is a bit different. Um, the first time I ever fell in love with soccer was playing over with my dad and my dad he was um he was uh, somewhat of a of a of an amateur player in El Salvador and um and he was he was even part of a local team uh, playing in in New York at the time um in in this um small town called Inwood and every time before the games I would just pass the ball with him and just um I'd run around and kick it before every game he 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 played and. You know, the first time that that he kicked it um um so um long for me, I just ran after it. Um, I was sprint for it, and um that and that kick that I get that I gave the first ever time, um it made me fall in love with the game. It just sparked something inside of me. And watching it, I will never forget watching the 2009 Champions League final between Barca and Manchester United. Two amazing teams. Getting to see them that that 2019 so special and that that winning that goal from Messi the header that he scored it just made me fall in love with him in general and he influenced me um to where I am now uh, loving the sport and I would just never forget those games you know particularly um the 2011 um, team as well the 2015 those were just memorable teams for me as a Barca fan and um moving on um to the USMNT I would never well, it's the same as you guys, that Landon Donovan goal. I remember watching the 2010 World Cup, seeing that goal, going crazy, um, uh, sending us through to the um, knockout stage, watching the 2014 World Cup, um, watching Messi go all the way to the final and losing it. That made me feel sad. But then um, th this past World Cup that he won it, it made me ha so happy again. You know, this game, it will always give you those moments, those feelings when you score the winning goal or when you even score a goal in general. And it's just amazing. It's so indescribable. That's why we love the sport. Nice. That's awesome, Jeff. What about you, Shrey? You have a Dortmund kid on. Yeah, so my love for soccer is honestly later after you guys. So my mom first signed me up for rec soccer in 2010. And after that, I mean, just love the game. And my love for the USMNT started in 2014 with the 2014 World Cup. I mean just one of the best World Cups ever. It's still my favorite World Cup personally with all the iconic moments. James Rodriguez breaking out, 7-1 versus 7-1 Germany, Brazil, Messi losing the final. I love Messi, but I mean like Messi losing the final, Guts of breaking the hearts of Argentinians, Tim Howard's iconic 16 saves, John Brooks scoring the winner versus Ghana. I mean, that that came, that entire World Cup just made me fall in love with the US 17. Now Dortmund's honestly a tricky, tricky, trickier way to answer for me because I don't really have a specific moment. It's just the club that like I just fell in love with the fans, players like Marco Royce, Blaszczykowski, players who gave all for the badge. And honestly, the fans have to be like Dortmund fans, the best. No debate, honestly, Dortmund fans are the best in Europe, the best in the entire world. 
And yeah, I'll always be a Dortmund fan. We we choke a lot, but um, yeah, I'll always be a Dortmund fan. And yeah, soccer is the greatest sport in the world. Nice, nice. Yeah, I mean, I'll go with my moments. Uh, uh, I'm fortunate enough to have watched. I mean, old enough to to have watched the 2002 World Cup. So I have vivid memories actually of the U.S. beating Mexico. But I'll be honest, that wasn't the moment that made me a U.S. 17 fan. I was too young and I was in Brazil at the time, so my family used to put just a Brazil jersey on me. And I mean, you're too young when you're three years old to actually fall in love. I mean, I, I enjoyed the sport, but the moment that made me fall in love with the US was 2009 Confederations Cup when we lost to Brazil. Uh, when we were winning 2 0, I was so happy, honestly. That's the moment that I realized that, wow, I love this national team. This is definitely my country. And uh, I mean, I have both nationalities and citizenship, but the U.S. is always above any other for me. And that was the moment that I, I realized how much I love the U.S. when they were actually tying against us. And then when we saw it slip away, I was heartbroken, heartbroken. And that's maybe part of the reason why I'm still anti-Brazil up to this day. And I mean, Jeff, uh, straight mentioned the marvelous 7-1 moment. I actually bet 6-0 for Germany in that game, so I got the money. I was the closest one to the score. And uh, yeah, that's the moment that made me fall in love. Uh, the whole 2009 Confederations Cup run. And maybe the reason why I fell in love with the US in a game that we lost is because of this. This team is cursed, honestly. But I'm not gluby. That's the team that I love the most in the entire world right now. We're in the equivalent of the sixth tier in Brazilian soccer pyramid. With the right record, at least, we hold the record for the fastest descent in history of the Brazilian soccer pyramid. We were playing top tier back in 2018. Now we're here in the sixth tier. But the, the moment that made me fall in love, I even wrote it down. Uh, it's just y'all 2007 is the happiest moment. Uh, it was a, our top goal scorer when we played the Libertadores. But when I was Four years old, 2003, Paraná played Internacional, a team that Johnny plays for right now. My dad took me to the stadium. I'll never forget. We lost the game too, but uh, it was just amazing for me to be amongst the fans and everyone singing together. Paraná fans are known in Brazil for being a huge fan base. Never stop singing, regardless if we're winning or not, because frankly, if we were to sing when we were winning, we would never sing at all. So yeah, up to this day, I haven't celebrated a single trophy my entire life. I've never celebrated because Nations League doesn't really count that much. I mean, if we win Copa America next year, that would be the first trophy I'll celebrate. But yeah, that's my background in soccer. And just a, a fun fact, Paraná was actually made by, it's actually the reason that I'm alive because my grandpa, when Italians moved to, to Brazil, he was working in the fields and in, in the agricultural side of Paraná, the state. And there was a trial for a club made by Italian immigrants called Palestra. My grandpa tried out, he actually made it and he played professionally, same as my father. And that club eventually became Paraná. So it's it's in the blood. We are supposed to be Paraná fans. Thank you to everybody that's joined us in here for this 100 sub special. It was really nice for us to record this, have a little bit of connection and immersion with the fan, the channel. We appreciate all of you guys. 100 subs is a huge milestone for us. and. Around a month, we weren't expecting it really, and we enjoy reading all of your comments, all of your support. Thank you for subscribing and liking. Please comment what would you like to see in the channel in the future. We are trying to bring improvements to you guys, and we are so, so grateful to have you here. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. All right, ready? I got the guts right here. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. You're recording. Here we go. Yeah, I'm recording it right here. I'm recording. Make sure you see Real Madrid kit, the badge. Make sure you see the badge too. All right, yeah. The badge is right here. The badge is right here. Yeah, let's go. Burn it. Burn the kick for ass, dude. All right, boys. Don't burn your hand though. Like I know. Yeah. Not gonna work. No. Let's light this up. Record it, bro. Hold on. Oh, yeah! Okay. Wow! Oh, wow! Go. Burning it right here. Everything yes. burns. Yes. Everything wow. burns. Wow! Run! The yes. firefighters are gonna show up. 